All right. Morning, morning, everybody. Oh. So I just thought I'd talk about the whole Sam Altman debacle that happened, what, starting Friday? And yeah, a lot has happened over the last uh, however many days that this, you know, first blew up. And I thought it was really interesting because there's like a lesson here for people who are in tech, who are in business. You know, it might seem rather obvious, but it's something that I feel needs to be reiterated. So if you aren't familiar with what happened, essentially uh, around Friday of last week, Sam Altman was essentially booted out of OpenAI by the board. And this caused, you know, an uproar, um, to say the least. So after Sam Altman was booted out, uh, I think one of the other co-founders, uh, Greg, also said he'd he'd leave um, if nothing was changed. And then and then all of the employees for OpenAI, a large majority of them, started uh, publishing things on uh, Twitter, uh, essentially you know in support of Sam, but also giving an ultimatum to the board to say that if they didn't change their decision or bring Sam back, then they'd all uh, leave. Uh, leave. You know, it, it, this was fascinating uh, to, to to see, right? So I'll probably go to here, right? Because long story short, um, Microsoft has taken Sam and Greg and a whole bunch of the team from OpenAI. Um, and now they're going to be working under Microsoft, which is fascinating, right? And if you didn't know, OpenAI, uh, Microsoft had a, uh, had a stake. Um, from an investment standpoint, but OpenAI was its own separate product, right? And yeah, what I wanted to talk about was all of these statements from the team. OpenAI is nothing without its people, right? Now, it's kind of interesting because you see this and you're like, oh, I hope this isn't AI, right? <laughs> um, putting this all out. But, you know, this is true, right? Tech is nothing without its people. Despite all the advances, everything still seems to come back to the people. And if you don't take care of your people, um, what are you uh, in the business world? And Sam, I think, has done such a great job, uh, you know, inspiring and motivating his team that, yeah, the outpour of love and support for him when he was booted out, you know, really changed the course of the direction for the company and also forced the remaining board to have to kind of give in because without any of the, the team members, well, OpenAI uh, would cease to function properly. Right. So this is a big deal, you know, and so here we go. Sam and AI are shocked and saddened by what the board did today. Um, let us first say thank you to all the incredible people who have worked with uh, at OpenAI, our customers, our investors and all those who have been reaching out. Um, they're just trying to figure out. So, you know, this was uh, where was this 1042 p.m. November 17th. So that was three days ago. Right. And, you know, how much. <laughs> can change just in a couple of days when you've got uh, support of the right people. Uh, okay, so when Microsoft invested in OpenAI, they purchased an exclusive license to GPT, Dolly, and other OpenAI models and started running everything on Microsoft infrastructure. Uh, Microsoft is hiring Sam and Greg to lead a research team. Sam and Greg are now Microsoft. They can fork OpenAI, <laughs> right? So this is the crazy part. Uh, here we've got Balaji. 500 plus OpenAI employees all quit, uh, sorry, will quit and join Microsoft unless the board resigns and reinstates Sam and Greg. So the board, it looks like the board did not resign and reinstate Sam and Greg. So they've all joined Microsoft. This is nuts, right? If, when you think about it. So Satya Nadella, again, you know, he's a, he's a pretty damn good CEO for Microsoft. He's been making a lot of big power moves over the years. Um, so. Uh, LinkedIn at 26 billion. Uh, so these are all the acquisitions I think that they're talking about, right? And now I've got Sam and Greg and OpenAI team uh, to build Microsoft's new AI research team. All right. So this is, yeah, this is in incredible. And then, yeah, unfortunately, Ilya, um, I, ho I hope I'm saying that right, but he deeply regrets uh, his participation in the board's actions, never intended to harm OpenAI. Um, and yeah, you know, because it's for me, it's also about the the, the talent, the team as, as well. Uh, you know, I've got a, a plus subscription to ChatGPT, but if Sam and them go and create something better over on the Microsoft side, I will also switch, um, right? 
again, I'm not to me, I'm not too concerned about all the politics, but you know, it's it it's really more how how it will affect the product. Um, that's when uh, I will usually uh, take notice or take action. So blah blah blah. Board member from last week. Yeah, this is fascinating. So yeah, I think, um, yeah, it, it's just really fascinating to see unfold. Um, and I think, you know, it's important to see because this is, you know, one of the biggest uh, companies right now that is shaping the way that AI looks uh, moving forward. And now that Sam and them are under Microsoft, it essentially makes Microsoft one of the biggest companies to shape the future of AI. Um, so it's something you should definitely be paying attention to.